Hi there, Nathan here with ATC Cooling and Heating. And if you are from anywhere outside of the desert southwest, you know a thing or two about humidity. Even when I lived in Buffalo, New York, the humidity would often get unbearable. You could literally just walk outside and immediately break into a sweat. And here, in eastern Tennessee, humidity is a constant companion all summer long. Today we're going to look at different AC systems and how to maximize the removal of humidity from your home. Now, it should be said, one way to lower the humidity in your home is to stop introducing humidity. For example, always run the bathroom vent fan and keep it running for 10 to 20 minutes after you shower. Always run the kitchen exhaust fan when cooking, and especially so if you have a gas stove. You may even consider cutting down on houseplants as they also give off humidity. But for most homes, the real engine to combat humidity is your AC system. When your AC system or your heat pump is operating, it cools its evaporator coil, which is a piece connected to your furnace or air handler, and blows inside air across that coil. The inside air cools down, and because it is cooler, it cannot hold as much water vapor. This water or condensate drops out of the air and goes down your condensate drain. And in one move, your inside air is both cooler and has lower humidity. But here is the problem. Only when your AC system is running is it reducing the humidity in your air. As soon as your AC system turns off, having satisfied the thermostat setting, no more humidity is removed. The situation is especially noticeable on a moderate temperature day with high ambient humidity. The inside air might be 73 degrees, but it still feels a little sticky. So what AC system is best at humidity mitigation? First, the best system at getting to humidity is one that is correctly sized, or even slightly undersized. Sounds maybe counterintuitive, doesn't it? Why? Well, a smaller system is good for humidity removal precisely because it must run longer to satisfy the temperature setting. And the longer it runs, the more humidity is removed. Now, let's consider some scenarios. Assume it's 78 degrees outside with very high, say, 90% humidity. Later in the day, the temperature, of course, climbs. It might get to 85 degrees. Uh, your temperature inside is set to 74. The AC system in your home, in this first scenario, is a conventional single-stage unit. It comes on and off as needed. It runs at 100% of its capacity or not at all. Here's a graph of what that looks like. Your single-stage system, it comes on and it runs at 100% and then it's off. And then it comes on, it runs at 100% and then it's off. Every time it's on, it's removing humidity. But you see these gaps? That's when nothing's happening. No humidity is being removed at those times. In contrast, here's a two-stage unit right here. Now a two-stage unit, in our case, let's assume that it runs at either 60% or 100%, depending on which stage it's calling. It'll come on, and you see it runs longer at 60%, and all of that time is removing humidity. And then it shuts off, and then it comes on at 60%, and in this case it went up to 100% capacity, it was trying to satisfy the thermostat, but it runs longer each time. There's less gap in between operating times, and less time for it to be not removing humidity. And then over here, I've got a variable or a multi-stage unit. Now, in this case, it's capable of running anywhere between 25% and 100% of capacity, and it varies its output along the way as temperature and conditions call. So it comes on at 25%, let's say, and it's running and changing that as needed, and goes up, it crests here at about 75%, but you see this? It's running the entire time, and all of that time, it's reducing humidity in the house. It is a fabulous reducer of humidity. Here's an actual evaporator coil that I, frankly, pulled out of my junkyard just to give you an idea of what these things look like. This is generally encased in your ductwork, so you never really see them. And I pulled off the panel that goes right here to give you an idea. Air comes up through this thing. This thing gets really cold. There's a drain pan on the bottom where all the water uh, accumulates. But this is really the engine inside your house that's removing humidity and cooling your air at the same time. So drawn out, here is what your AC system looks like. Inside your house there will be an air handler, and this piece right here is the evaporator coil. Warm air from inside the house 
gets drawn in by the fan, gets blown across that evaporator coil, and out into the rest of your house. Your outside unit, or your condensing unit, is pumping refrigerant down through this evaporator coil, makes it really cold. As warm air comes across the cold coil, it can't hold as much humidity. My little water dropping out and hitting the pan and going down your drain is humidity being removed from your house. So coming out of your unit is cool and drier air. So what's the conclusion to all of this? Well, a properly sized, in other words, not too big, variable speed or multi-stage air conditioner or heat pump system is the very best at removing humidity. And lower humidity simply feels more comfortable. Now, if you have a heating or cooling topic you would like us to address, please leave me your idea in the comments. And for more information about humidity mitigation or really anything HVAC, check us out at atcservice.com. Thanks for watching.